trust your first impression. What do you see down there below you? Nothing yet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Tell me what you're experiencing around you. What do you imagine to be there? Use all of your senses. How does it feel there? Peaceful. Peaceful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you feel that peace, I want you to just use your senses. You can feel sense. Do you feel like you have a body where you are? No. Mm -hmm. Good. In this peaceful place where you are, do you feel that you can move or are you just floating there? How does it feel? It feels like I'm floating. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now that we have established that you're floating. I want you to just sense around you. And sometimes we could tell if you were indoors or outdoors. Use all of your senses to feel if you're inside something or outside something. Feels outside. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Very good. And sometimes when we're in a place we can tell if there are any any other things around us. Use your senses and see if you're alone or with others there. Alone? Mm hmm Very good. Do you feel that there is any surface in the place where you are? Or is it open? Use your senses and trust your first impression. Like, <coughs> like open air? Open outside. air. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this open air is in a place where it's space? Or are you on a planet? It feels like, like, like Earth. Mm -hmm. Very good. Like outside. Mm -hmm. So as you're there, you can use your, all of your senses to actually change the lighting. So you can actually use your breath to just illuminate the space where you are. Just illuminate it. And as you use your breath, you'll see that things start flowing into your imagination. Trust what you sense. What do you sense to be around you? Trees. Mm hmm. Trees. Water. Mm hmm. Now be a little bit more sand. Mm, very good. Mm hmm. Like wooded area, mm -hmm. but like sand. A wooded area. Yes, yeah, like like I see a lot of trees. Mm hmm And can you sense the temperature in this place? Like warm. Mm hmm Not too hot. Not too hot. Very good. I want you to look down and see if you can feel that you have a body now. Look down at your feet and see if you see anything. What do you imagine to be down there? Bare feet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bare feet. Do you feel that you're male or female? I think female. Mm -hmm. So as you acclimate yourself to that body, 
You can actually touch the body, use your arms to touch it. And tell me how that body feels, how is it dressed, what does it look like? Allow the images to just flow into your imagination. What do you feel that you look like? Are you young? Are you old? Seems like 11-ish. Mm-hmm. 11-ish, your little girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now that you've established that you're a girl, little girl, see if you can envision what clothing she has on. How is she clothed? If she's clothed at all. How much clothing? Mm -hmm. So describe what type of clothing she's wearing. What does it look like? Like little underwear. Mm -hmm. Little underwear. What do you sense that this little girl looks like? Trace the first impression. Like native? Native, mm-hmm. What color is her hair? What else can you tell from her features? She, oh, she has black hair, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Very good. Take a look down at the hands and see if there's anything in her hand. Stick. A stick. Mm -hmm. And what is the stick used for? Feels like spear, like mm -hmm. fishing. Very good. So I want you to sense yourself totally integrating with this little girl so that you can now see through her eyes. And tell me what's going on there. Why are you at the at the water's edge? Getting some fish. I'm getting some fish. Mm -hmm. Have you caught any so far? No. Mm -hmm. So tell me how it is that you catch the fish. I have I look for it and I throw the spear at it. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. Tell me what you do. I'm on a rock looking at the water, mm -hmm. crouch down. Mm -hmm. Trying to find one. I'm not finding much. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Disappointment. Mm-hmm. Have you caught fish before? Yes. Mm-hmm. Looking around. There's a breeze on my face. Mm-hmm. Guess I have to look around more. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens. Take me through this whole scene. I'm walking, I'm walking around the water, water's edge. Mm -hmm. Playing also though with the rocks. Mm -hmm. Very carefree. I still want the fish, but I'm, I'm having fun as well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun to play in the water, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, just playing. Mm -hmm. Water's glistening. I feel the sun on my back. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Warm. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next. Where do you go from there? I'm gonna walk back to the trail. Mm -hmm. So tell me what by you the see. Sand. Mm -hmm. I'm walking on the sand by the water's edge. I didn't catch any fish. I see the wood, the wooded area. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go that way. Okay. So tell me everything you see on the way. Anything important? Just the, all the trees and the birds. Little animals. Mm -hmm. I'm skipping up all the rocks I can. Going up the hill. It's like a hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but barefoot, just walking up the rocks. And where is it that you're going? Not sure yet. I'm, I'm guessing home. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you see the place where you live. It's like an open area. Mm-hmm, an open area. Tell me more. It's less, less trees there, mm -hmm. but it's like more open, open space. And what's there? Like little hut, like houses, huts. Mm -hmm. Little huts. huts. Mm -hmm. Like, I see mud. They're made out of mud? Mm hmm. What are the roofs made out of? A hatch. <clears throat> mm hmm. Hatch roofs. Mm hmm. How many huts do you see? I want to say six or seven. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody there besides you? I'll look around. I see like a uh, cauldron, like cooking utensils. Mm -hmm. Where are they? Straight ahead. One of the houses. Are they outdoors? The, the cauldron, yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anyone yet. Mm -hmm. So go to the hut where you live. And tell me what it looks like. Do you live in one of those huts? I can't tell if one of them is mine. Mm -hmm. Use your senses. What do you see around you? 
same little hut. Mm-hmm. It's, it's um, it's like seven of them. Mm-hmm. What are you feeling as you're standing there in these huts? Like a casual day, mm -hmm. regular day. Yes. There's little windows with the huts also. Mm-hmm. And how do you get inside these windows, these, these, these huts? Like a, like a thatched door. Mm-hmm. Almost like the same as the roof, but it has wood on it also. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I see yourself going inside of the one that you live in. I need to take a bathroom break. Okay. Be there now. You're back in that place. Same place, same scene. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking around. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go into one. Okay, so tell me what's inside. Describe everything you see. See, it's, it's like rounded. It. Has little beds. Mm hmm. What do the beds have on them? Looks like just like a, something that, that was knitted. Like, mm -hmm. like, a, like a knitted cover. Mm hmm. What's it made out of? Can you tell? Looks like <clears throat> some kind of fabric, but it's knitted, like knitted, knitted. Mm -hmm. What else do you see in there? It's not much furniture. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's mostly just like little beds. Mm -hmm. How many beds do you see? Mm -hmm. Now use your senses. Can you tell if this is your place? Yeah, it feels comfy. Okay, good. All right. Can you see anything else interesting in this little hut? No, just the pets. Okay. So I want you to close that scene. Close it behind you like a book. And now I want you to go to another scene in that same lifetime when you're having a meal. Move to a time when you're having a meal. Be there now. What do you see? Where are you? In the hut. Mm-hmm. Look around and see if any, anybody's with you. I see. Looks, looks like my mo mo mother and father. Mm-hmm. And there's a little, a little one. Mm-hmm. How old is this little one? Like three. Mm -hmm. And how old do you feel there? It's like eleven still. Okay. Like 10 or 11. Look down and see what it is that you're eating. It's like on a banana leaf. A banana leaf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the plate. Mm -hmm. Looks like fi fish. It's like just fish. And are you using anything to eat with? My hands. Mm -hmm. I think there's plantain there too. Okay. Good. 
How is everyone dressed? Take a look at their attire. What are they dressed like? Minimal. Mm -hmm. The father, um, father, the father has like um, covering up his bottom part. Mm -hmm. Almost, but lots of like leaves. Not, not no material. Mm -hmm. like, and what about your mother? And I think her breasts are showing. Mm -hmm. So no top. Okay. She has stuff in her hair though. What kind of things does she have? It's like Like, like, I don't know how to explain, like banana, mm -hmm. like headband, or like made out of some sort of plant or something, and mm -hmm. there's like little wood, like earrings, but they're not hoops, they're like a piece of wood through the ear. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's just for adornment? I believe so. Mm-hmm. And the father has the same same like ear earring mm -hmm. but it's just a piece of wood too good take a very good look into the eyes of your mother and see if you recognize those eyes from anyone that is in Maida's life right now the eyes are the windows to the soul doesn't seem like it Okay, very good. Very good. How do you feel there? Very relaxed. Very relaxed. Very good. Let's close that scene now. Close that scene behind you like a book. And now we're going to move forward to another important date in that lifetime. Move forward now. You're older. What's happening? Where are you? I feel like I'm like 17-ish. Mm -hmm. In the woods. In the woods? Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? It's like I'm hunting. Mm -hmm. The spear. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a wild pig or something. Mm -hmm. So tell me it's what I'm running, happens. running really fast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm in a group of hunters, Take but I'm I'm running and it's like I'm calling out. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm in a group. The 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 pig is fast though. What happens next? I'm calling out, trying to give them directions where the pig is heading. They're calling back out too. Mm -hmm. I can tell where they are. I'm trying. I'm still running towards the direction of the pig, but one of the people can already tell that's that's the way they're going. The pig is going. So it's like I'm gonna meet up, meet them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of rocks and like lots of trees and stuff. It's hard to run sometimes. Yeah. What happened? We're getting closer to the pit. Well, I'm getting closer to the guy's voice. Mm -hmm. I think he caught the, the, the I think he caught the, the pig. Mm -hmm. 
He's yelling now. We're all gonna, all the, all the hunters are gonna go over there. So tell me when you get there, and how many hunters there are. Feels like me, my father, mm -hmm. I, another young man, and and another young man. Mm -hmm. Now, are you male or female there? Feels like I'm female, mm -hmm. but there's no there's no rank like mm -hmm. like women are less. It's just if you know how, like if you can do it. Mm -hmm. Are you a hunter? Yeah, I, f I feel like I am. Mm -hmm. My father trusts me. Good. He taught me. I'm fast. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Proud. Mm -hmm. So what happens with a pig? The guys have to cut it up. The two other guys. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's almost like I don't, like my father says, don't, you don't have to, you, you, you brought it to us, something like that. Like, I don't have to cut it because I bought it. Mm -hmm. Or found it, something like that. Mm -hmm. He's proud of me. Mm -hmm. So he's giving you credit for that? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to do the dirty work? No. Mm -hmm. What else do you find in the scene? Like, feels like I have, like, we put red stuff on us before mm -hmm. we go on Mm-hmm. I feel like I have red, red paint on. Red paint, any particular way? Any markings? Yeah, like across my cheekbone. And like, like little marks across my face, like, like lines. Mm -hmm. What does this red paint signify? Strength. Mm -hmm. Does it give you strength or is this part of what? I think it helps to give you strength. Mm -hmm. Is the red paint made from anything in particular? Clay. Clay. Mm -hmm. I think it's clay and... It feels like clay and blood. Mm-hmm. Whose blood is it? An animal. Mm -hmm. Does it give you the strength of the animal? I think like the instinct, mm -hmm. and I think the, the clay, the clay, the clay is like the earth. Mm -hmm. So you're using the instinct of the of the earth and the animals yes. in order to catch it. Mm -hmm. Is there any ceremony that you do before catching this animal? Yeah. Between the hunters. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Feels like we. L then we light a fire. Mm -hmm. I think it's at night. Mm -hmm. I see bonfire. And we 
we all sit around the whole everyone in the village or the small village mm-hmm. and it looks like we we do like a prayer prayer and then the hunters put the pain on each other as as the people pray mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. very good all right I want you to close that scene now close it behind you and let's open up another scene that's important when you're older Something is happening. Where are you? I think um it's the same feel like it looks the same with the huts. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel? Like 40, I think. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It feels like I'm... Like I'm not married. Mm-hmm. It's almost like instead I've I'm like someone they like they look up to, like a medicine person or mm-hmm. like someone with respect, like they respect. Mm-hmm. What do you do there? feels like I have knowledge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels like um, I'm not sure if it's a medicine woman or I feel like people are looking at me when we're all sitting down. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're one of the elders? It feels like it. Mm-hmm. Like, I have children around me. Mm-hmm. Are you in a role of leadership then? I, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody else that leads this place, or just you? How does it feel? Feels like I'm not the, the the chief or the leader leader, mm-hmm. but I hold leadership. Okay, very good, very good. So tell me what's happening. That's important. What's going on? I think someone's sick. Someone got injured. Okay. Yeah, he's on a stretch. He's on a he's on the cot on the floor. Mm-hmm. And what do you do? I'm praying over him. Do you use anything? It looks like leaves. Mm-hmm. Smoke. Like some sort of... Like... Oil? Mm-hmm. Some sort of sap from a tree or oil? Mm-hmm. And I'm praying, and I'm rubbing it on him, and I'm hitting him softly with with the leaf, mm-hmm. and chanting. 
And tell me, what does this ritual do for him? Who are you praying to? Think to his spirit. Mm -hmm. To his spirit. Mm -hmm. To heal him. Mm -hmm. What does the chant sound like? It's like a song almost. Mm -hmm. Like a repetitive mm -hmm. chant song. Mm -hmm. And I go in rhythm with the branch mm -hmm. or the, the thing I'm hitting him with. Mm -hmm. The tree, the branch, the leaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to save him. Mm -hmm. There's other people watching, but they're not. They're not that close. They're letting me do my thing, my work. Are you indoors or outdoors? Feels like I'm indoor. But it feels like they're watching. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Outside? I'm not sure how, but I can feel them looking at me. Mm -hmm. These that are looking at you, who are they? The ones closer up are the, 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 the men, mm -hmm. the younger men. The younger men. It's so like they're trying to see how I do it. Mm -hmm. Do you teach them? Or is this something that you do? I think it's something I do. Mm -hmm. Is this something that's natural in you? Or did someone teach you? It feels as though... Feels as though I knew how to do it. Mm -hmm. My mother knew a little bit. Besides, besides the leaves, do you use any other part of your body to help heal? Sometimes I put my head on them, mm -hmm. like my ear. Your ear. To li like to listen. Mm -hmm. My hands. How do you use your hands on him? Not on the wound, but over it. Mm -hmm. And around it. Okay. Is this any t is this a type of healing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this energy that comes from your hands? It feels like it is. Mm -hmm. Combined with 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 the leaves, with everything. Very good. I'm part of it. So let's see what happens to this man. I want you to fast forward the scene. Tell me what happens. He has a child and a wife. Mm -hmm. He's better. He's better? Very good. How does that make you feel? Happy that his child sees his dad. Very good. Good. I'd like you to close that scene now. Close it behind you and let's move forward to a time when you're older. Something important is happening. Where are you? I'm 78. Mm-hmm. White, white hair. White hair. I 
think I'm sick. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with you? I'm tired. Is there anything wrong with your body physically, or is it that you're just tired of living? It feels like I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Well, tell me what thoughts are going through your head. I've helped a lot. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot. What lessons have you learned from this life? Life. Goes up and down. Mm -hmm. Highs and lows. Mother Nature. All the trees, all of it is important. It's all, all one. The breath, the air, everything. I'm not scared of dying. I know it's... I know that there's a spirit. It's like a, I'm just tired of my human body. Okay. So I'd like you now to take your last breath and tell me what happens as you transition out of that body. Where do you go? I feel flat, very light. Mm -hmm. I feel happy. Now that you're on the other side of this, what was the mission and the purpose of this lifetime that you just lived? Turn out strong. Mm -hmm. And did you accomplish that? Yes. Very good. So let's move on and see what happens to your soul now. Tell me where you go. I float for a while. What do you see? <clears throat> I'm enjoying flying. Mm -hmm. It's very bright. I feel at peace. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anyone that meets you there? Older generations, mm -hmm. oh, like, oh, yeah, older. Mm -hmm. Are these your ancestors? Seems like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they have form? Sort of. It's, it's like. Their form, but a, of light. Mm -hmm. What does your form look like? Air, like spirit, like spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going towards them. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens when you meet them. See if they say anything to you.
welcome. They're happy to see me. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize them? I feel like I, some of them I do. I see my father there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. mostly energy. Mostly energy, very good. All right, let's close that scene. We'll leave that woman to continue on her path. She will find peace. She will find what she's supposed to find. Let's move on now to another lifetime. Drifting and floating through time and space. Drifting and floating to another time, another place where there's information that will help you in the very best way. What do you see? Allow the images to flow just as before. What are you feeling? Dark outside? Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Are you indoors or outdoors? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Straight. Like Tell me cobblestones. Cobblestones. Mm -hmm. Is it nighttime there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What else do you see besides the street? Are there any buildings? Any structures there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Stones like their their houses, mm -hmm. like iron iron gates. Iron gates. Mm -hmm. Are there many of them? Yeah, it's like like a city. Like a city. Mm -hmm. There's a seahorse. A horse. Horses. Mm -hmm. Carriage. Yeah. Yeah, look. Like I see a full moon. Mm -hmm. full Light, moon. Lights on the cobblestone. I see. Street, street lamps? Street, street lamps? Mm -hmm. They have the candle in it. Okay. As you acclimate yourself to this place, look down at your feet and tell me. Do you have, can you see your feet down there? Yeah. Mm hmm. What do you see?
Heels. Mm-hmm. Heels. Mm-hmm. What else? They're black. Mm-hmm. Stockings. No, I can feel the stockings. You can feel them. Mm-hmm. Are these thick stockings? So, kind of. Mm-hmm. And I have a lot of clothes on. A lot of clothes. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Describe these clothes. What do they look like? Lots of layers. A layers? Mm-hmm. Layers. And my back is tight. The back is tight? Yeah. Long sleeves. Gloves. What do you look like? Looks like I'm white. Mm-hmm. Brown. Brown hair. Brown hair? How are you wearing it? Up. But there's some curls falling. Mm-hmm. It's like a like a bun. Like a bun? Mm-hmm. Like a loose bun. How old do you feel there? Twenty four? Mm-hmm. Are you carrying anything? An umbrella. Mm-hmm. And like a... A sort of purse. Mm-hmm. Like old look, it's an old looking one. Old looking purse? Mm-hmm. Are you by yourself there? Or is there someone with you? I'm looking around. I think I'm by myself. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm by myself. It's like I'm like my ladies shouldn't be out at that night mm-hmm. alone. So tell me what's going on. Acclimate yourself there, and let's find out what it is that you're doing out there by yourself. for someone or a carriage like someone's I'm looking for someone mm-hmm. I'm looking around all the streets connect with your emotions and tell me what you're feeling as you're waiting for someone who's not there and see mm-hmm Embarrassed. I'm not supposed to be outside in the dark by myself. Mm-hmm. I'm getting irritated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's find out what it is that you're doing there. I want you to go back in time and see how it is that you got there. What brought you to this place in the dark by yourself? Go back to the moment before you got there. Where are you? In a large space like a house. Mm-hmm. 
the, the bookshelves. What else? It feels more like it's a studious place. Like you study there? Mm-hmm. Is there anybody there with you? out what it is that you're doing there. Connect. I think I go to school there. Mm -hmm. I study there. Okay. So what happens next? Studying. For girls. It's a school for girls? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The energy feels female. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the boys go to school and the mother. Mm -hmm. is. I'm studying. Seems like other, there's, I feel other, fe other females. Mm hmm What are you studying? It's like a, a little of everything. Mm hmm there's writing, there's art, there's poetry. Is this a place of higher education? Seems like it. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not too big, but it's big mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. It's more specialized, I, th I think. Okay. So let's move ahead in this scene and see how it is that you got to this place by yourself. Tell me what happens. It feels... <clears throat> I feel like I feel like someone's scolding me. Mm-hmm. Let's find out why. She's dressed in black. Mm -hmm. the same la same layers of clothes. Mm-hmm. Are these clothes very wide or Yeah, seems wide. Mm-hmm. Why is she scolding you? I don't know, she, she seems very upset. Let's connect with her. Connect with her and find out what it is that's causing her to be upset. Seems like she's one of the teachers, like one of the prof prof professors mm -hmm. or teachers. Why is she upset at you? I'm something like something I I shouldn't have been doing. Mm -hmm. It's um it's not natural. Like it's what? Normal. So let's see what it is that you were doing. Let's go to that time when you were doing this. 
I see a garden. Mm -hmm. What's in the garden? Like, like trees. Trees and like a little benches. And like, like a little garden. Flowers. There's a gate around the school. But there's like a, in, like a garden, like enclosed. Mm hmm Yeah. What were you doing in this garden? I feel like I'm trying to hide somewhere. Okay, let's see why. Within the tree, like by the trees. Like. Let's see why. Like I don't want some, I don't want people to, like I don't want them to see me. Okay. Let's find out why. I feel like I hit, like, I was supposed to be somewhere inside, but I, I was in the, in the back garden instead. Mm-hmm. I, f I feel... I feel nervous. Mm -hmm. Like, ner like nervous, but excited. Mm -hmm. I think I'm waiting for someone. Okay. Let's see who we're waiting for. Fast forward it. What do you see? Is another classmate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she, I think it's a girl mm -hmm. classmate. So describe her for me. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Why is she meeting you there? I think I think we like each other. Mm -hmm. But it, we can't, we can't do that. So it's like, like friends. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about her? I like her. Mm -hmm. In a romantic way? I think so. Take a look into her eyes. The eyes of the window to the soul. See if you recognize her in the life of Mari. I 
think I've seen the eyes before, but mm -hmm. I no, no, I can't. I'm not sure. Okay. Tell me what happens after this. We're trying not. We're trying to just be with each other, but like friends, like it's not right. Why is it not right? You're supposed to like men, boys. Mm -hmm. So we, we pretend that we do like boys. Mm -hmm. But I think we like each other, but we don't tell each other. Mm -hmm. I think we do, we come to, we escape sometimes, mm -hmm. just to be, to talk and be alone. But people are starting, I think, I think they're starting to say stuff. Mm -hmm. What are they saying? Like, gossip, like starting to gossip about us. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not right. It's not, it's not normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see anything else important in that scene? Anything relevant? No, just a lot of, like, tension between us. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's close that scene behind, and now let's go to another scene that's important. When something is happening, let's move ahead. I think there's a party. Mm-hmm. But there's going to be boys there. How does that make you feel? <sighs> like I can hide, but... I'm not going to be... So happy. Mm -hmm. What are you expected to do at this party? I think it's like another, like another school. That's the guys' school mm -hmm. and the girls' school. Like a combined party. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens at this party. Sorry, I think it's about to Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Just a minute. Sorry. Put your elbow. Open your eyes. Two and be there now. We're back at the party. Instruments. Instruments, uh huh. Tell me what kind of instruments. Violins. Mm -hmm. uh, flute. Mm -hmm. <sighs> are these people that are playing the instruments? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Look around you, who's with you? A 
not a, I'm not a man, I'm not a, with hats. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Mustaches. Mm -hmm. Mustaches. How old do you feel there? Same age. Mm -hmm. What happens? I'm trying to not bring so much attention to me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay right like, in the corners. As you look at yourself, do you feel that you're attracted? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't want to be seen. Mm -hmm. I think I'm looking for her. I'll see her. I don't think I'm disappointed. She's not with you? No, she said she would go. But I don't see her yet. I'm just waiting. And then what? It's time to see that I'm there. I see a small group of them. <clears throat> looking in my direction. I hope they don't come. I'm still waiting for I'm walking around to the other side I think there's like a library mm -hmm. in the back behind yes. where it's darker I'm just waiting I don't see her yet You can fast forward this scene and go through it much faster and see what happens. I've, I've decided to go towards the party. Mm -hmm. I think I got upset she's not coming, or if she's not coming. Yes. So I'm. Um, frustrated so I think I'm I'm gonna dance with one of the men I'm walking towards the party I go to where there's more more people There's a group of ladies and gentlemen, so I go there. I'm trying to let the music take my mind off. Mm -hmm. I see like two gentlemen staring at me. I think I decided to flirt with one. Mm -hmm. He's handsome. He's gonna he's coming towards me. He 
he's introducing himself. What's his name? James? James? Mm-hmm. What name do you tell him? What's your name? Amelia? Amelia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen to that name. Does it feel comfortable? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens next, Amelia? Yeah, I dance. I dance with him. He's asking to court me. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I think I'm supposed to. Mm -hmm. He's handsome. He looks well. Looks well off. Very nicely dressed. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't find him attractive. But I think it's my best choice. Mm -hmm. I dance with him. He's very nice. I'm still looking for her. Is there anything else relevant in this scene? I don't think so. Okay. So close that scene behind you. And I want you to move forward to where something significant, significant is happening in that same lifetime. Move forward now. What's happening? Where are you? I'm in a house. Mm -hmm. Whose house is this? I think it's mine. Mm -hmm. Who lives there with you? I want to say the same guy. Mm hmm. Are you married to him? Yeah, I think I married him. Mm hmm. How old do you feel there? He's very nice. I'm not happy. How does he provide for you? <sighs> he's well off. Mm -hmm. I think he's a businessman. 
what do you do all day? I'm free to do anything. Mm -hmm. I like to paint. What else? I like to write poetry. There's no children. Mm-hmm. Why is that, Amelia? Let's close that scene now. Let's move forward. Move ahead to another significant time in that lifetime. You've moved ahead now. Where are you? I think I saw her again. My heart just went like... Mm -hmm. Like it skipped a beat. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. My mother and me, I have to be in like our 40s, like early 40s. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Look around. I think I saw her at the, where we shop, like the market. Mm -hmm. The market? Yeah. Yeah. Was she by herself? Yeah, she's shopping. I think. I think she's with another lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, she's picking up fruits, and I stopped in my tracks when I saw her. How does that make you feel? Like my heart is racing. Mm -hmm. Do you say anything to her? She's still far off. I don't know if to go see her. I'm scared to go talk to her. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. I think she was my, my true love. But I settled for James. Mm -hmm. Does anything else happen in that scene? Close that scene then. Let's move ahead to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Move ahead. Tell me where you are. Uh, on the bed? Mm -hmm. How old are you? That old, like sixties. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? It's just my life hasn't been happy. Mm -hmm. I almost um. I sense an illness, mm -hmm. but 
I feel depressed, mm -hmm. regretful. What are you regretting? That I married James instead of going for trying to for letting society not tell me my happiness, mm. my life, and settling for James. What would have happened if you were to go with her? Wouldn't society ostracize you for that? Yes, mm. but I never tried. Mm -hmm. I know she felt the same, but I'm, I was a stronger one. I could have pursued. Mm -hmm. Very good. So take your last breath now. Take your last breath. And see yourself transitioning now and tell me what's happening. See a little bit of dark, like darkness. Mm hmm. See darkness. Like I'm floating. Mm hmm. Where do you go? Amelia, do you ever go to the light? Floating. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you float to. See the light. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you another question. When was it that you met Myra? When did you see her? She was a child. Mm -hmm. How old was she? She was young. Mm -hmm. Go back to the time when you met Myra. Where was she? She was a baby. She was a baby. Mm -hmm. She was very sick. She was very sick. Mm -hmm. And where were you? Floating. Mm -hmm. What were you looking for, Amelia? Did you recognize the soul of Myra? Yeah, I think so. Who was she in a previous life? Was she someone that you knew? So you say that you found her when she was a baby and she was sick. What attracted you to her? Hmm. 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 
Tja, ne? Sing das mal. Warum auf das ist. Das ist. Ja. Mm -hmm. Did you follow her? The one you were in love with? Did you follow her soul I think, into I that baby? I think I did. Mm -hmm. How did you recognize her? She had pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. Did she ask you to follow her? Mm -hmm. But you found her, didn't you? Yeah. What did you expect to do once you found your friend, your love? Just be around her. Mm -hmm. Since I, I couldn't before. Yeah. So where is it that you connected with her body? Where did you attach yourself to her? Take a look at her whole body and tell me where it is that you reside. Is it in her hands? Her feet? Her heart? Her head? In her head? Mm -hmm. Amelia, do you tell her things? What do you tell her? What kind of things do you tell her? I should have. Should have. Regretful stuff. Regretful stuff. So she always feels regrets? Yeah. Does she feel guilty because of you? I think it's part of it. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? What are the symptoms that she feel of you? What are her anxiety? Her anxiety, mm-hmm. Do you have anything to do with alcohol or drugs? <laughs> no. I don't think so. Okay, but you cause her a lot of anxiety? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that something that, Amelia, you would have done to someone you love? Cause them so much Regrets and guilt and anxiety? No, but I never... Was, was, I couldn't be with her. You never stopped loving her, did you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But you, someone that you truly love is someone that you give freedom to. It seems to me that you violated her free will. And instead of her wanting you, you just decided to take over. She wanted me to. She wanted you to. Mm -hmm. Did she ask for you to follow her into this life? No. No. Mm -hmm. So she wanted you in that lifetime, but not in this one. Did you make a contract with her? No. Mm -hmm. Amelia, when you transitioned, the logic, most logical thing that you could have done was to go into the light. That's your evolution as a soul. But you didn't do that. You kept looking for your love, didn't you? you never found her. And Myra can't give you what this woman gave you in that lifetime. 
What would you like to tell her about that? I could, but I could have. Could have done that. Mm hmm. But you can't do it now. You don't have a body. You can't have a relationship with her now. All you do is flood her mind with your thoughts, your chatter. Isn't that right? I love her. And you love her. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell her how much you love her. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let me speak with Myra. Myra? Yeah. Do you see that all of these years you've had someone attached to you that was in love with you? Yes. How do you feel about that? It's not natural, is it? No. What would you like to tell her? Oh, go in peace. Mm hmm. And there's love there for you. Okay, all right. Let me speak with Amelia again. Amelia, yeah. do you see she's letting you go? Okay. I know that you have a lot of pain in your heart for something that you weren't able to get that love back. But you see, you see, this is romantic love. And everyone gets love from the Creator, from the light. Would you like to feel that love? That's true love. Okay. Before you go to that light, though, I'm going to ask you to give me all of that burden that you're holding. Because you can't go to the light with so much baggage. Would you permit me to do that for you? Unload your burden. Okay, I'm going to put my hand over your chest and I want you to give me from your heart all of those feelings, all of that regret, the guilt that you felt, the remorse of marrying that man that you didn't love. All of that pain of not being able to be with your true love. Give me all of that. Empty it out. Tell me when it's all gone so I could take it away. All right, I'm going to take it now and send it off into the universe for healing. And now, Amelia, in that space that we've left so vacant, what would you like to put in there instead? Let's put lots of love in there. Lots and lots of love. And let's seal that. What else would you like to put? Joy. Mm-hmm. Let's put lots of joy in there and seal that too. What else? Peace. Let's put lots of peace in there. Mm-hmm. Very good. Anything else? You feel complete? Very good. Now, before you go, Amelia, I want you to pull from her body all of the influence that you've had there since she was a baby. I want Myra to cut all of this, pull it out, like an anchor, pull everything out, out, and I want now Amelia to pull from every bit of her body, her physical body, her astral body, etheric body, mental body, emotional body, pull everything out, pull out the cords, the cables, the tar, the sludge, everything that was in her body, take it with you. And tell me, Amelia, when you've pulled everything out. Huh? Tell me when you've got it. Pull it all out. You're going to take it with you. And I'm going to call my angels of the light to surround you, Amelia, and take you home. Feel the, their warmth around you, the light surrounding you. Now I want you to go up to the crown of her head right here. Exit through there and pull all of that stuff that you had in her. 
all of that influence, take it with you, and I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to come and take your hand and greet you and take you back home. And tell me when you get there, Amelia. Very good. How does that feel? Wonderful. May the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I want Myra to fill your entire body with light. Raise your vibration of love and fill your entire body with that brilliant vibration of white light. I'm going to ask Archangel Gabriel to come help you. Seal Seal you completely with his light. Every place where Amelia was, let's seal that up. Very good. Good afternoon. I know that you could have shown Myra many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her the one of the native that woman that was seemed to have been a healer. Why did you show her that? She's a healer. Mm -hmm. What kind of healing powers does she have? Love. Love? Mm-hmm. Patience. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's strong. Is she using these powers in this lifetime? Not yet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. What's keeping her from that? She hasn't fulfilled herself. Okay. Did Amelia have anything to do with this hindrance? Yes. Mm -hmm. She held her back? Yes. Mm -hmm. How about now? How do you see her future now that Amelia's gone? Much brighter. Much brighter. Very good. Can you tell me why you showed her this life of Amelia? It wasn't her past life. For her to understand. Why she feels the way she feels mm -hmm. sometimes it has nothing to do with her. Mm -hmm. It was somebody else. Yes, and mm -hmm. other people's emotions. Other people's emotions. It has nothing to do. Okay, good. Would you tell Myra what is her purpose in this lifetime? To fulfill. The goals that she sets. Mm -hmm. Are there any particular goals that she set before she came here? Art. Mm -hmm. She's artistic. Artistic. And she said that she wanted to start doing some of this art. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can she do what she's doing in art at the same time? Or is art the main thing? Art the main. Mm -hmm. Money will come. Money will come. Okay, so she doesn't have to focus on the money as long as she focuses on the artwork. Yes, both will. Both will. Both will happen. Good. Why is it that she hasn't been able to connect with you before? Alcohol. And what's causing all that alcohol? She's not feeling fulfilled yet. Mm-hmm. Is she using the alcohol to fulfill her? Yeah. It's not working, is it? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell her about the alcohol? Let her go. There will be a point she won't need it. Mm-hmm. 
can you begin working on her sensors right now, on her, the mind, so that when she thinks about alcohol, it doesn't uh, feel like something she needs to go towards? Yes. Mm -hmm. Either change her taste buds or something where she doesn't feel a, the need for it. What about her guides? Who's guiding her? Grandma. Her grandma. Mm -hmm. Alton. And Alton. Okay. Well, Alton was recent, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What would her, what, what does her grandmother want to tell her today? Everything's a lesson. Everything's a lesson. Mm -hmm. She's not wrong. She's not wrong? No. Okay. Who's making her wrong? Okay. And what does Alton wa want to tell her today? She is loved. She is loved. Good. Is he okay? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Did Alton go to the light? Yes. Okay. And did her grandma go to the light? Yes. Very good. Very good. Does she have any spirit guides? Besides them? She does. Mm -hmm. Ancestors. Ancestors, okay. What can she do to help in keeping connected with her guides and ancestors? Meditate. Meditate. But she's told me that she can't really concentrate very much. Why is that? Some blockages. Blockages. What's causing these blockages? Does she have any influence? Chakras. What is it? Chakras. Her chakras. Would you go in there and, and unblock the chakras and th let me know which ones are blocked? Stomach. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the stomach? She needs to... A lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety. Was that coming from her or from Amelia? It was Amelia and there's some from her. Okay. What's the origin of that anxiety? Where is it coming from? Past experiences. Mm -hmm. Can we take those, that anxiety away? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you begin working with her on that? Loosening up everything? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And as you do, would you work on her chakras at the same time? Yes. Wonderful. Let me know when you're done. Thank you. She feels like she's lacking motivation. Before she was very motivated, inspired, now she's not. What's causing that? Just blockages, mm -hmm. uh, creativity. Mm -hmm. Can't get through. Mm -hmm. Is there somewhere in her body where that blockage resides? In the crown. In the crown. Mm -hmm. Is that an influence that she has there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you permit me to speak with this influence? Yes. All right, good. I'm going to take my hand up to the crown here, and I'm going to bring it down. Bring it down. Down, 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 down. Good afternoon. You can express yourself now. How are you? Who am I speaking with? You don't want to talk to me today? Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. You seemed a little upset. What's going on? 
Are you confused? I don't need, I don't need, to, I don't need to talk about that. Oh, you need, don't need to talk about that. Okay. Well, tell me something else. I know you don't want me to help you. I'm just curious. How long have you been there with Myra? Since her youth. Since her youth. Mm -hmm. What was happening in her youth that allowed you to connect with her? She was suffering. She was suffering. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What was going on? Some abuse. Some abuse. Uh huh. Was she calling out to you? She was calling out to me. She needed help. Mm -hmm. And who were you to help her? Were you an angel? No. Mm -hmm. And then what? What were you doing there? I felt her pain mm -hmm. and the negative in her household. Yeah. So we matched. We matched. Okay. Now, if she was feeling pain, it seems to me that you were also feeling pain. Isn't that true? Yeah, but I'm tougher. You're tougher. Okay, so that's why you wanted to help her. Yeah. Because you wanted your tough guy. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What did it call you when you had a life? What was your name? Do you remember? Can I call you tough guy? Yeah. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. So tough guy. I know that you must have gone through a lot of pain and you must have been really tough when you were alive. Can you recall the last time you had a body? You were in the, in the 1930s? Or were you 30? No, 1930s. 1930s, okay. And how old were you when you lost your body? My 60s. 60s, 60s. uh-huh. What happened, tough guy? How did you lose your body? I had illness. An illness. Mm -hmm. but I, so I fought it. You fought it. What kind of illness did you have? Liver. Liver? liver. Mm hmm And what caused that liver? Did you drink? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Did you do a lot of drinking? We all drank at that day. Mm -hmm. Those days. Mm hmm Do you feel like you drank yourself to death? What do you think? Uh, that's what the doctor said. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm So it must have been a very painful death, wasn't it, tough guy? Yeah. Kind of hurt. It hurt, but but you were pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. What kind of living did you make? Construction. Construction. So that was pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what did they call you? Victor. 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 Mm -hmm. Does that sound right to you, Victor? Victor. Mm -hmm. Vic. Vic. Mm -hmm. Vic. Sounds much better than tough guy, doesn't it? Mm. Tough guy's good. Tough guy's good, good. So, tough guy, what symptoms have you caused Myra all these years? I've helped her. She's tough, just blame me. Mm hmm. But what else have you caused her? Have you caused her any confusion? Oh, only when it's not going to benefit. Mm hmm Did you have any cravings for alcohol? Yeah, we all drank back then. Mm hmm How about when you're with, with Myra? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like my, my buddy. She's your buddy, so she's your drinking buddy, isn't she? Yeah. Mm hmm Are you the one who kind of tells her, hey, let's have a drink? Mm hmm After work. She's tired. She's tired, just she's like a, you were. She's a tough worker. Mm hmm So you're... You're... You're a... Um, Solution to being tired is just take a drink, right? Yeah, and then mm -hmm. go to sleep. How about smoking? Did you smoke a lot mm -hmm. too, Vic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you and Myra just have a cigarette and, and drink all night? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's time to go to sleep? Yeah. yeah. She sleeps better like that. She does sleep better. That's because... She can't sleep if she does. Mm -hmm. She wakes up too much. Mm-hmm. So she does. I help her. She you does. help her. Okay. She to sleep. 
Well, Vic, I just want to let you know something, though, that on this planet we have free will. Yeah, she needs me. <laughs> well, let's ask Myra if she needs you. Let me speak with Myra now. Myra, you've had this guy, tough guy Vic, in your head for a long time. And you can see he's pretty tough. Mm -hmm. And his solution to everything is just have a drink and cigarette and just, you know, go to sleep. Can you see yourself in the future wanting to be a spiritual healer? Mm -hmm. Having this kind of persona around. Can you see no. Vic helping you with no. that? No. Mm -hmm. Do you see that it doesn't quite match what you're trying to be and what tough guy is trying to yes. continue with your life? What would you like to tell tough guy about? Because I can't convince him. You need to convince him that what he's doing is not appropriate. You know, you don't need to help me anymore. I I can be tough on my own mm -hmm. without your influence. Good, but I don't think he's going to to understand that, what I would like you to do is I want you to envision tough guy in front of you and I want you to have a contract that you agreed to with him to have him help you. I want you to see yourself breaking this contract with him. Just tear it up because you have other people that are going to help you now. Tear up that contract and then you're going to tell Vic, we tried, we really tried. Go ahead. We tried it. But it's not working. But it's not working for you, me. Mm -hmm. You go with on your way with love and I'll go my way. You go your way with love and I'll go my way. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be together anymore. We don't need to be together anymore. Mm -hmm. So let's get rid of that contract. You can tear it up and throw it away. Alright, let me split with Vic. Vic. Are you ready to leave now? She doesn't know if she's... <laughs> she don't know. Vic, what you are feeling in that life was a lot of pain. And I'm sure you want to feel love, don't you? And Myra was one that was a good buddy who gave you love, didn't she? Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. But there's different types of love. Did you have anybody that loved you when you were alive? Did you have a wife, brother, sister's mother? Who loved you? I had a wife. You had a wife. Mm-hmm. And she loved you? Yeah, but she left. Because she left? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to feel that love? Someone love you without invading their body? Mm -hmm. I want you to do me a favor, Vic. I want you to go up through the crown of her head and go to the light. And I don't want you to stay there. I just want you to feel what it feels like to be in, bask in that light. And report to me back and tell me how it feels. How does that light feel? Mm -hmm. Soak it in. You feel the love from it? Mm-hmm. Would you like that all the time now, Vic? All right. So what I want you to do is that I want you to pull from her body all of your essence. Myra, I want you to cut the cords, pull them out like roots, pull them all out. And Vic, I want you to pull all of that out of her body, physical body, astral body, etheric body, mental emotional bodies, all the bodies that she has. Pull all of that influence out of her. Pull it out, Vic. Vacuum it out. And now, Vic, before you go, I don't want you to leave with a heavy burden. I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Vic, and I want you to give me all of that load, all of that pain that you had from that lifetime. Give it to me. All those regrets, remorse, anger, anger that your wife left you, 
No one to love you. Just the alcohol. Give it all to me. We're going to send it to the universe for healing. Pull it all out. And tell me when it's all out. You can do it, Vic. You ready to pull it up? Have me take it all? All right, let's take that all. I'm sending it to the universe for healing. And now, Vic, what would you like to put in that spice instead? No. Let's put lots of love. Lots of love in there. Feel it going in. Feel that love. And let's seal that. How does that feel? Anything else you'd like to put in there? Peace. Let's put lots of peace in there. Lots of peace. And seal that also. Do you feel complete now? Mm-hmm. All right, say goodbye to Myra. Go up through her crown. Take all of that sludge with you. And I'm going to ask my angels of the light to come escort you and Archangel Michael to grab you by the hand and take you to the light and tell me if you see anybody there familiar. Your parents. They've been waiting for you for a long time. Give them a big hug, Vic. And may the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now let me speak with Myra's higher self, please. How does she feel now? Better. Better. Very good. So, is that going to help her motivation and inspiration? It's going to start it. Good. Now that her drinking buddy is gone? Yes. Good. She has a question about something that she saw one day. She said that after Linda did that healing for her, she saw a very green, bright orb circling very fast around the ceiling. She couldn't move. She was paralyzed. And she wants to know, what was that? That was my energy. That was your energy? Mm-hmm. What were you trying to tell her? Everything's okay. Everything's okay. It's, it's positive. Very positive good. light. Very good. Very good. And what was that ringing in her ear? She says she hears this high-pitched ringing or squealing. It's... I was trying to get her attention. Mm-hmm. Well, you certainly did. Yes. So when she hears that high-pitched thing in her ear? That's us. That's you. Okay, what are you trying to tell her? Well, she's not alone. Mm-hmm. We're here. Okay. Is that the same thing with the number threes that she sees all the time? Yes. What does a three mean to her? She feels connected mm -hmm. to three. Mm-hmm. Is there anything particular about that number for her? It's her birth, her birth number. It's, it's her, her birth energy. Her birth energy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what she sees constantly. Okay. It, does she need to do anything with that number three? Acknowledge it's there. Okay. And keep moving. Okay, good. Good. She wants to know if she's a light worker, or an energy worker, or a healer. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's very sensitive. Very sensitive. What is she supposed to do with this energy? Once she heals herself, mm -hmm. she has the potential to heal others. Mm -hmm. Okay. She will see from her example mm -hmm. and be able to help others. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we were talking before the hypnosis that the experiences one has is to be able to empathize with others and hold space. Is that what you're telling her? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she needs to first experience it, heal herself? Yes, she's doing 
the work now. Okay, good, good. What about quantum healing? She was thinking about how can she use that? Is she supposed to be um, a quantum healing practitioner? She can, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Good, good. We were, she had asked about why she's always using alcohol and cigarettes, but it seems that that was Vic. Yes, that okay. was Vic. All right, so we get rid of Vic now. He's in the light. Uh, she wants to know if her relationship with herself will get very strong and happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And can her guides and higher self help her to sleep better? Yes. Why is she not sleeping well? The alcohol was not helping. Okay, so once she detoxes from the alcohol, she'll be able to exercise. And exercise. Will she be more motivated now to exercise? Yes. Any particular type of exercise that she could focus on? A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Kickboxing, yoga. Mm -hmm. Physical. Physical, okay. And I'm sure that's going to help with the weight gain that the alcohol... Um, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Would you do a body scan on her, please? What did you find? Her toe, her foot. Her foot? What's going on with it? She feels pain on the left side mm -hmm. where her bunny is. What is what is causing that discomfort? She will heal from it. She will? She needs to start exercising. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. It will go away. Okay, can you start on that today? Yes. Okay, and continue working on while she sleeps so that she can heal quickly and exercise faster? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, would you check again her chakras and see if they're aligned now, if you've done with them? And they're good. What about her aura? How does her aura look? Any leaks in her aura? <sighs> she has a great aura. She does. Good. Good. Um, what was the reason that you brought her all the way from Maryland here? She needed to... She felt attached to you. Mm -hmm. She felt you could guide her. Mm -hmm. Did it help? Yes, she felt connected to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She feels better now. Good. Is there a final message or any other questions that I didn't ask that you would like to tell her at this time? She's going to have another session. Mm -hmm. This one was important. The other one will guide her even more. Will guide her even more. Are you going to bring her down here or am I going to have to go up there? <laughs> she will... She will make up that 
mine, though. Okay, good. Very good. All right. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her? Or anybody else that she's connected with? All should seek this kind of help. It is beneficial for all humanity as the earth is evolving to the fifth plane that all start to communicate with their higher selves. This is a wonderful venue to begin that. Very good. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> How do you feel? That's weird. <laughs> Tell me. It's like you're there, but you're not. Okay, explain to there. me how hypnosis works. What did it feel like? It was a little difficult to get mm -hmm. into it, mm -hmm. but I started like just when I let it go. Yeah. That's when the images started would pop mm -hmm. because it's it's like. You, you see, you don't see anything at first, mm -hmm. and you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you had the little voice? Yeah, you're like, uh-oh. So I was trying to say, Shh, you know. Quiet. Yeah, and then just, like, you, just one thing at a time, like, yeah. when I saw one thing pop, I told you, and then something else popped, mm -hmm. something else, mm -hmm. and it just built on, on its own. The more you talked, the more you saw? Yeah. Yeah. How did you feel about that uh, hunter? <laughs> That's crazy. She was pretty powerful, wasn't she? Yeah, she's... A powerful woman. A very powerful. Mm -hmm. She was accepted for she, who she was. Yeah, she, they respected her. Uh -huh. I could feel them all looking to see what she does. Yeah. And that's who you are. And then we had the life of Amelia. Yeah. I feel bad for her. <laughs> because she was yeah. know, in love and she followed you. She followed you and kind of like not allowed anybody else to have you either. So I'm sure she was deal, uh, influencing your relationships too, not having anybody get too close or have you get too close. Yeah, I never yeah. thought of it. Well, I never knew that. Well, but now you know. <laughs> and then tough guy Vic. <laughs> it's like he's funny though. Yeah. It was like... But oh. He went through a lot. Like I felt his... Pain. It was like he was trying to smile through pain. his pain yeah, and trying to cover up what he yeah, really tough. felt. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but then he cried. I can feel him. Yeah, feeling bad about it. That I just felt when he... Yeah, when he felt his pain and he let it... Let it out? Yeah. I, I, How did it feel when I pulled that stuff out? It was like I had... Um, it was like this. Like... Like, I don't know how to explain Vibration. it. Like, yeah, like that. Like a ripple effect? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, like when you have a little spasm? Yes. Oh. It felt like that, like wow. a little spasm. Internal spasm? Yeah, like like those things you put on when they do massages. Wow. You know, a little thing like that. Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like. Wow, good. So do you recommend this to other people? Yes, I do. How long do you think you're out, by the way? Maybe an hour. <laughs> well, just this part from the third time that you were back is over an hour. So, oh, yeah? Cool. So it's a, it's a lot longer. I, oh, yeah? I'd, I'd have to add them all up, but it's over two hours. Oh, my anyway. gosh, really? Yeah. So, let me take this <laughs> so do you, uh, you want to share this? Sure, we'll do the cut-cut editing. Cut, cut. Yeah, we'll do the cut, oh, yeah. cut with whatever part uh, yeah. embarrasses you. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Good? Yeah. All right, so let's say goodbye. Sit next yeah. to you. Get these wonderful these rocks. Selenite, good stuff. They're awesome. Stuff. All right, so let's sit. And I am Alba Wyman. We're here in Miami, Florida. <laughs> She's awesome. She, she came all the way from Maryland yeah. to be here yeah. with an Uber, yeah. everything else. Yeah. Um, we had a great session. Thank Amazing. You. And uh, if you want to have a session with me in Miami, Florida, uh, just go to albawyman.com and we'll see each other again soon. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>